right, a dance masterclass that you two might want to pay close attention to. You've seen Ruth and Anton's interpretation at the weekend, but what does the perfect Paso Doble look like according to Jason Gilkerson? The most dramatic of all the Borum and Latin American dances has got to be the Paso Doble. It actually takes place in the ball ring. The man plays the part of the matador and the lady his cape. Now generally in competition dancing, the competitors don't use a cape. On Strictly, of course, just to add a little bit more drama, we have the physical cape, which actually just adds to the whole atmosphere. Although the dance has its origins in southern Spain, the original couple dance actually came from France. Now once you've set the character of this particular dance, the very first thing you're going to learn is the appel. The appel is a strong stamp, like a stabbing action, and actually indicates to the lady, this is where I'm going. Both the man and woman in this particular dance have to have a really strong posture, with the center being right up between the ribcage. It's really important that the hips are moved forward and the leg feels like it goes right up to underneath the armpit. One of the things I always say when I'm teaching the Paso Doble is you've got to imagine that if the ball was charging straight towards you, you would move your hips out the way to avoid getting stabbed by the ball. One of the most popular steps is a wheat, which is French for eight, which is where it takes eight steps to move the lady from the man's right to the man's left. The man stands on one particular place, he brings his feet together and he keeps stabbing on the spot almost like continuous appels while he's shaping his partner from left to right. The female on the other hand is actually continuing her body in one direction until the man changes her to the other direction. Another movement very similar to the wheat but actually turning from left to right is a chasse cape and that's something you see very very commonly on Strictly. It starts with an appel one, two, three, chasse cape, move the lady to the other side, chasse cape, move back in front of you. Something else that's also very distinctive in the Paso Doble is the use of the hands and arms. The arms in this particular dance are usually kept in place in a soft curve, and so the arm stays in frame the whole time, and then with circular actions on the hand, it rotates both left and right. In this particular dance, you don't want to break your focus. This is a dance to the death. The guy has to stay really strong and controlled the whole time, while the lady has to stay fluid and focused on the man and what he is leading so she can depict that cape. So to sum up, in the Paso Doble, you have an actual narrative that you've got to thread through the whole time while staying in focus, staying dramatic and staying arrogant. If the bull doesn't get you, Craig will. Wow, that's how it's done. A huge thank you to Jason and Pasha and Chloe. That was gorgeous. Next up, what do Barry Manilow, Tina Turner and Sir Tom Jones have in common? They have all shot to fame after being featured on my next segment. But who will get their big break this week? There's only one way to find out. It's Tunes on Tuesday. <laughs> be full of some absolute tunes. So shall we see what's up first? Here we go. Baby, yes, it's Firework by Katy Perry. What a banger. Uh, the music video famously features fireworks shooting out of Katy's bosom. Please don't try this at home. But did you know the singer who once kissed a girl and quite liked it is actually the daughter of two pastors? Oh, now you know. Uh, so who will be hoping for belated fireworks at the weekend with this number? Here we go. Susan and Kevin will be doing a tango to that. Right, what's next, jukebox, uh, baby? <gasps> You don't have to say you love me. Made famous by the legendary Dusty Springfield. Did you know it was an originally an Italian song? Was it? Yeah. Composed
is by Pino Donaggio. What is that you're doing? Uh, whilst we're here, what was the original called, Giovanni? Io che non vivo senza te. Which means what exactly? I can't live without you. I thought you'd never say it. Very sweet of you. Uh, Dusty, that was nice. Uh, Dusty made it her mission to record an English version and it's since been covered. We look like sisters. Uh, sorry, we look like sisters. Yes. What are you saying? Uh, they've been covered by everyone from Elvis Presley to loose woman Denise Welsh. I love it when you do that. I don't know what that is, but it's funny. Who will be hoping for an international smash? Oh. Waltz. Grazie mille. <laughs> Absolute lunatic. We have time for one more song. Any Here we go. Oh. Evening, Hello. Who's these two lovelies? Yes, one of our couples will be doing the Lambeth Walk on Saturday night. Oi. Uh, this song is from the 1937 West End musical Me and My Girl. Uh, based on a cockney strut, it swept the nation with even King George VI and Queen Elizabeth attending the performance and joining the audience in a sing-along. But who, is this the actual Lambeth Walk? No idea. Who will be taking the Lambeth Walk all the way to the Strictly Dance Law? Let's find out. Here we go. Charleston to this sounds like a right old East End up knees up. Uh, to find out the rest of the songs, head to the Shrilly website. Uh, time now for my final guest of the night. <laughs> As the first couple to receive. <laughs> uh, I've got a feeling they're going to be in high spirits. Debbie and Giovanni. I got a feeling. My darling, it was like watching a tango masterclass. Flawless. You gave me tingles down my back. I don't think I've ever seen a tango like that from a celebrity. Excited! Congratulations on the first perfect score. Oh, happy birthday yeah. to you! <laughs> uh, it's absolutely amazing. What's the response been like, Debbie? Fantastic. I mean, yeah. everywhere we've gone, I've gone, he's gone. Uh, you know, everybody's just been wonderful and excited for us. Uh, we've been really excited <laughs> as well. Yeah, I know. But I love you... watching that little film with all the judges' comments. Uh, Giovanni knows them all off by heart. Oh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard to get a nice word out of Craig, yet alone for him to bow down. I know. When he came out from behind the desk, were you a little bit worried about what was going to happen there? I was, actually. Yeah. I, 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 I thought he was coming to us and say something about, you know, show the posture or things like that. Yeah, yeah and, me too. Uh, and after, that one happened. It just, been, just went on his knees and it was like... Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. You wow. see, First I'm point. used to men being on their knees. Debbie <laughs> 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 McKee, you say the funniest things. <laughs> wow. I'm actually speechless. Okay. Just not Craig. Yeah, just, just not, not Craig. Craig. <laughs> Debbie, uh, you were actually rendered a little bit speechless yourself on Saturday night. How did that whole experience feel? Oh, it was just surreal. And I, mm. it still feels it. You know, it's the best thing that can possibly happen to you on Strictly. Yeah. And, you know... Craig just doesn't do things like that, does he? You know, so that was, and I was like Giovanni, I thought, oh no, I wasn't holding my posture and he's going to come and show yeah. it. And then when, you know, the other judges were saying such amazing things, it's what everybody would wish for. So I just feel really lucky. I know. Well, you gave such a splendid approach. And I mean, it was hugely, um, you were emotional, Giovanni, oh, as well. Really? I mean, this yeah. is only the second time on your whole time on Strictly that you've had a perfect score. Yes. So, it was one of the, fi in the final with George, wasn't it? Yes. And now we're I mean, that one was the final. Now taking a 40 on week seven is um, 
Yeah. It's really nice. If you feel really good, I felt I felt really really good. We worked really hard. Yeah. You know. So in the end of the week, when when we arrive in the end of the week and we both go, that's cool. It's really it's a really nice feeling. But uh, you know, uh, there's always a but. There's oh. always a but. That was week seven. Now we have to focus on the next dance. Okay. That's that's what it is. You do Strictly have to do about that. This. We will get to that in a moment. It, Debbie, you actually had sleepless nights over this dance last week. What was worrying you about? Just the whole dance, the technique. Could I act it properly? It had really worried me. I was just practicing, 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 yeah. and yeah, I just couldn't sleep at all. But yeah. practice makes perfect. And look, look what you yeah, did! It's it just incredible. It. And I have a bone to pick with the two of you because oh. of you. We now have to rewrite our Strictly history book. Oh yes, oh. because uh, not only was this the first perfect forty of the series, this is the earliest there has ever been a perfect score in the competition. Wow. <laughs> Only three tangos in Strictly history have ever scored maximum points. I present to you now the holy trinity of tangos. We have Kimberly Walsh and Pasha in 2012 in the final. We have Kelly Bright and Kevin 2015 in the final. And there you are, Debbie McGee and Giovanni Panicci. Look at that look on Giovanni's face. <laughs> uh, in week seven. So well done. Thank you. That is yeah. incredible. You. Debbie, you're the only person to have got a 40 outside the final for the tango. I mean, I know. that feels, I must feel great. I can't believe it. Yeah, I mean, it, it just is fantastic. I can't believe what's happening in my life. Yeah. It is just you know, I wish everybody could feel like I feel at the moment. I think we're feeling it with you, Are actually. You? Yes, okay. it's very <laughs> infectious. And also, uh, Giovanni Darcy um, put her on a par with a pro dancer. I mean, you know, why don't you just leave her to do the choreography? It's really no, exactly. that good. I'm going to have a day off tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, when you uh, this is the biggest comp compliment that I could have received from the judge because when my celebrity dance as a professional dancer, it means that I did a mm. great job and that it I did the teach the correct technique and that did uh, a great job. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Very yeah. chuffed indeed. Okay, so top of the leaderboard for three weeks, Debbie McGee. How do you maintain that standard now? Well, we we're just doing what we do every week, and that is we forget Saturday. Mm -hmm. We go in on a Monday, we learn the next dance, and that's like starting on week one because every dance is so different. So it's just focus, let's have a good time and let's learn the new dance. Well yeah. say. So salsa for you two this mm -hmm. week to an absolute corking tune. Yeah. Let's hear it. Um, this is, a, I mean, that's proper disco, proper fast. What can you tell us? Well, it's a fast routine again. It's completely different dance than the tango. Uh, a lot of hip movement. Yes. Um, sexiness. Mm -hmm. And um, liftiness. Liftiness. Oh, liftiness? <laughs> liftiness? <laughs> I know what you mean. That's a famous word. Yeah. That's my word. Liftiness. Liftiness. <laughs> yeah, we can I like that. How are you feeling? Uh, Debbie, you've given us some great lifts already. How are you feeling about going skywards How again? I feel. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't be eating too many chips this week, no, I will. Um, no, I, 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 you know, I'll have a go at anything, Zoe, and that's yeah. what this programme's about, is, hey, see what I can do. I will see what happens. I'm more worried about the kind of letting go in the salsa and, you know... The wild I'm, McGee. I'm not a disco queen. <laughs> and you, you kind of have to be. Bring it. You can bring it and you've got the best teacher. Yeah. So Ooh. he's going to teach say again, you. Say again. Yeah. Okay, you've got the best teacher. Oh, you your head just I knocked me out. <laughs> today. Uh, good luck for Saturday. <laughs> Debbie you. and Giovanni. <laughs> this mess up before you leave. That'd be lovely. Uh, that's all we have time for tonight. Join me tomorrow at 6.30. I'll be chatting to Alexandra and Gorka and Joe and Katya. Plus, Ian Waite is here for his first warm-up of the week. And Shirley Ballas will be giving us a lesson in the cha-cha-cha. I can't wait. Good night.